Good evening. I thought tonight I should tell you a really lovely story about the Lady Godiva. You may know her from beautiful paintings from many hundreds of years ago. This wonderfully robust, lovely, naked woman riding a pale horse through cobblestone streets in a little town long, long ago. So the story as it is, and it is a true story, is that Lady Godiva was married to the Lord of a small town. And this town already had some money troubles. And her husband, the Lord of the town, decided that he wanted to wage war on another kingdom and get whatever goods that they had to offer. And to do this, of course, he needed more money, as wars are so very, very expensive. And how was he going to get this money but charge the townspeople by raising their taxes so that they could buy the weapons to kill the neighboring people? And so he decided that's how it would be. He would raise the taxes, and the townspeople got wind of this and were so upset. Lady Godiva loved the townspeople as they loved her in return, and she did not want them to suffer this horrible taxation that would drain their savings and leave them broke. And so she went to her husband and said, Dear husband, if I ride through the town naked tomorrow, would you not raise the taxes? And he thought this was hilarious, just the thought of his wife riding naked through town, she would never, never do that for any reason in millions of years. And those were times of great modesty. And so he laughed it off and he said, yeah, sure. If you ride through the town naked, I will not raise the taxes. And so Lady Godiva walked off and found her handmaiden and said, ready my horse. And she got in her finest robe and went outside got on her horse, and her handmaiden ran ahead of her and said, Everyone, close your shutters, for the Lady Godiva is about to ride naked through the streets to save all of you from having to be taxed out of your life. And everyone quickly closed their windows out of respect for the Queen's modesty. And one person did not do that, and his name was Tom. And Tom stared out his window as Lady Godiva dropped her silk robes to the ground, riding completely naked as the day she came through the cobblestone streets. And there was Tom, just googly-eyed, staring at her bare body. And so from ever there on, all of the townspeople called him Peeping Tom. And the king did not raise taxes on the townspeople, and the story of Lady Godiva went down in history. There's a peaceful protest for you. Just get naked and ride your horse like me. And if you love that story and you would like to see more of this naked lady riding her horses, you can go to www.daintyrascaldancing.com where I have over eight hundred full-length, fully nude videos for your perusing pleasures of all different levels. And a hundred percent of every single subscription goes to funding my horse rescue. And I could really use the help. I hate asking so often and so much, but I have expanded a lot this year. I went from having 11 horses, four of which were miniature, so it felt more financially like having eight horses. And then I moved into this gorgeous 50 acre ranch. And suddenly, before I know it, I have 33 horses. And I am um, at my maximum or past my maximum capacity financially. And so I have been stripping and dancing and doing all the things that you ask on www.daintyrascaldancing.com to feed my horses, to pay the rent, to pay the vet bills, to pay the trainers, to pay all of the things that go along with having so many horses. So, so many. And you know what? 
I realize this is a tough time for everyone because I have never, ever had so many people asking me to take their horses in. And they themselves say, you know, I'm having financial difficulties and I'm afraid I can no longer afford my beloved horse. Would you please take him in? And I have been having to say no because I absolutely can't afford anymore. And also I'm limited on space here. We only have 32 stalls. Um, we have some pasture space and I would like to work on expanding that, but of course everything costs. Oh my goodness, does it ever. And anyhow, this is my humble plea in asking you to support me and my big dreams. Um, if you'd like to make a direct donation straight to the sanctuary, it's www.heartofgoldsanctuary.org. Yes, we are a 501c3 nonprofit registered with the IRS and the state. So feel good about getting your jollies off or feel good about making a direct donation. Either way, it all goes to the same place. I have earned so much money because of you and I have spent so much more <laughs> than I've ever earned on horses. And it's really hitting hard now that everyone's like, um, can we get that payment please? And I'm like, well, hold on, let me go do a video. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for listening. Thank you for staying. I hope you enjoy all of my videos, even if you can't donate, even if you're not in a place to support the rescue financially. I totally understand in that boat myself right now. And uh, you can help me just by liking the video, just by leaving a comment. It helps me in the algorithm. And then maybe somebody somewhere who loves horses as much as I do will send us a life-saving donation and miracles happen every single day and they just might happen tonight. I believe, believe with me,